at the Asian Defense and Security ADAS 2024 exhibition, South Korean defense giant Hanwha Aerospace unveiled its K-239 Chunmu Multiple Rocket Launcher System, MRLS, highlighting its advanced capabilities and future developments. The company focused on engaging the Philippine Army and other potential clients, showcasing the system's versatility, firepower, and a significant new development, the potential for launching an anti-ship ballistic missile, ASBM. First operational in 2014, the K-239 Chunmu was developed to meet the evolving defense needs of South Korea, offering a flexible and powerful multi-caliber rocket launcher. This versatility enables the Chunmu to rapidly adapt to a variety of mission profiles, making it effective for neutralizing enemy fire support, high-value targets, and providing responsive firepower in dynamic combat environments. The system's multi-role capability makes it relevant for diverse scenarios, including both land and coastal defense. Equipped with a GPS-slash-INS hybrid navigation system, the Chunmu boasts a high level of precision, even against moving targets, ensuring it can be deployed effectively in ever-changing battle situations. Its ability to fire both guided and unguided munitions further enhances its adaptability, allowing it to fulfill different tactical roles. With a dual launcher configuration, the Chunmu significantly increases firepower by deploying more rockets from a single platform, ensuring greater operational flexibility and efficiency. Hanwha Aerospace is currently advancing the Chunmu MRLS by developing an anti-ship ballistic missile, ASBM, expected to be completed by 2027. The ASBM is designed for nations with extensive coastlines such as the Philippines, offering a cost-effective alternative to traditional cruise missiles for maritime defense. With this capability, the Chunmu is expected to fill an important gap in coastal defense systems, offering an integrated solution for both land and naval threats. The ASBM development positions Chunmu as a strategic asset for countries seeking to bolster their coastal defense systems, enabling them to efficiently address maritime threats with precision-guided munitions at a fraction of the cost typically associated with cruise missile systems. Since its introduction, the Chunmu MRLS has seen operational success with the South Korean Army and Marine Corps, and it has drawn significant international interest. For example, Poland has already committed to acquiring over 200 Chunmu units, customizing the system for its national defense strategy by integrating the launcher onto local platforms like the Homarque. This purchase highlights the system's adaptability to different defense environments and its international appeal. The Chunmu has also been compared to the American M142 HIMARS, High Mobility Artillery Rocket System. While both systems offer state-of-the-art artillery capabilities, the Chunmu's dual launcher configuration effectively doubles the missile capacity compared to Hamar's. Mounted on an 8x8 vehicle chassis, Chunmu also offers greater sustained engagement options and operational flexibility. In addition, the system can launch multiple types of rockets, including 130mm and 239mm calibers, switching between rocket pods to adjust to varying mission requirements. This ability to engage a wide range of targets at multiple distances provides operational advantages, particularly for countries like the Philippines, which face diverse security challenges from both land and sea. The system's rapid deployment capability, taking just five minutes to prepare for engagement, further ensures a timely response in fast-paced combat environments. The K-239 Chunmu MRS offers several features that align with the Philippine Army's defense objectives. Its multi-caliber capability makes it highly adaptable for targeting both stationary and moving threats, while its modular design allows for the launch of various rocket types, improving its flexibility in different combat scenarios. This adaptability makes it a cost-effective solution for nations needing swift, precise firepower across both land and maritime operations. Additionally, Hanwha Aerospace provides opportunities for local industrial participation in the production and maintenance of Chunmu systems. This collaboration could contribute to the Philippines' goal of building self-reliance in defense capabilities, creating local jobs and improving the nation's defense production infrastructure. The Chunmu MRLS features a combat weight of 31 tons and is operated by a crew of three, with two additional personnel for ammunition handling. It is powered by a 450-horsepower engine, providing a top speed of 80 km per hour and a cruising range of 480 km. The launcher can handle two pods simultaneously, with a launch coverage of 194 degrees and an elevation range from 0 to 60 degrees. This rapid-fire capability, with a launcher speed rated at 2.5 seconds, enables the Chunmu to engage multiple targets quickly and efficiently. The system's ammunition options include the CTM-290, CTMMR, 
and Siege Your 80 rockets, each equipped with GPS-INS guidance for enhanced accuracy. The CTM-290 can strike targets between 80 and 290 kilometers, with a circular error probable CEP, of just 9 meters, while the CTMMR and CGR-80 offer operational ranges of 50 to 160 kilometers and 30 to 80 kilometers, respectively. These rounds are designed for both precision and versatility, giving the Chunmu the ability to engage a wide range of tactical targets. Hanwha Aerospace's K239 Chunmu MRS represents a significant advancement in modern rocket artillery systems, offering a flexible, powerful, and cost-effective solution for nations looking to enhance both land and maritime defense capabilities. With its multi-caliber capability, rapid deployment time, and future integration of the ASBM, the Chunmu system is an ideal candidate for countries like the Philippines, which face complex defense challenges. As discussions continue at ADAS 2024, the Chunmu is poised to become a critical component of the next generation of global military defense systems.